Welcome everyone. This interesting question. We have a semicircle with radius 5 cm with an equilateral triangle and a square inside it. Equilateral triangle is at the center of this semicircle. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find the area of square. Let's check this simple and elegant solution. To start with, let's join AO, which is also radius of semicircle, thus 5 cm. This angle here that will be 30 degrees and AC length we can find using trigonometry AC will be 10 by root 3 OC that will be half of 10 by root 3 or 5 by root 3. Now let's check this square here. Let's assume the side length of square is x centimeter. Now FE is the chord in the semicircle and we know that the perpendicular from the center on a chord bisects the chord. So FH and HE will be x by 2 and x by 2 each. Let's join here FH. Now in this triangle FOFH, we have got FH is x by 2. How about OF length? OF is the radius of semicircle and thus it is 5 cm. Now here in OH, if we'll check only IH, IH is your x centimeter, that's your uh, side length of the square so this is x now fe and gd these are parallel to each other thus angle i here that will also be 90 degree now to solve this triangle ofh we just have to find oi here to apply pythagoras theorem now oi if we'll see is it's a perpendicular on hypotenuse ac so in triangle aoc if we'll compare the areas area is half of base into height so first we'll take base as 5 by root 3 height as 5 so area will be half of 5 by root 3 times 5 but if we'll take ac as the base then oi will become the height so this is equals to half of 10 by root 3 times oi simplifying it we'll get oi length as 2.5 so here this length oi is 2.5 now applying Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, so we'll get here x plus 5 by 2 whole square plus x by 2 whole square, that's fh square, is equals to hypotenuse square, which is 5 square. Here opening the bracket, applying a plus b whole square formula to open the bracket. So we'll get equation in this form. Multiplying full equation by 4 and then simplifying it, we'll get our quadratic equation in this form. Now here this each term is a multiple of 5. So let's divide the equation by 5 to simplify it further in this form. To solve it, we'll apply formula of quadratic equation. So we'll get the value of x as negative 4 plus minus root 76 by 2. Now x cannot be negative. So let's leave this negative sign here. From root 76, that is 19 times 4. So we'll get this as root 76 is 2 times of root 19. So basically numerator denominator 2 will also get cancelled down. <coughs> so we are leaving the negative sign and 2 is getting cancelled down. So we'll get value of x as square root 19 minus 2. And in simplified form x will be about 2.36 cm and square of that will be our area which is around 5.56 cm square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata. Bye bye.